Okay, today we're going to be showing you how to use advanced threat protection and how to configure it on the actual server side. Now, I'm already logged into the Exchange Admin Center, as you can see up in the corner here. I'm using a demo account just to show you how it actually functions. To get here, you need to log into the Office Portal, so you can go to portal.office.com once you get there you'll get to this page click on admin and it'll bring you to this page and then if you scroll down to the bottom left hand corner here you've got the admin centers and you click on the exchange admin center to get here now this is where all the administrator settings are set up in this section so you've got access to the mailboxes, groups, anything for the protection side of things with malware, spam filters, rules, so you can actually, you know, figure out who's spamming you or you can block certain things. So I'm going to show you a, an advanced way of how to configure all this thing up. So I've already done this on my Office 365 tenant and I want to show you how you do it on here. The main thing with advanced threat protection is that it's an extra layer of protection on your mailbox. So what it does is it stops malware and viruses coming through the mailbox and it also allows you to block any dodgy links. So if someone sends you a website link and it appears to be dodgy, Microsoft will check it on their back end and go, okay, is this going to do anything? Is this going to actually make anything happen on the user's end? And if it does, it's going to block it completely. So to configure this part up, we've got to think about what we're going to be doing. So for me as an administrator, I want to make sure that I don't get any ransomware or malware on my mailbox. I don't want any crappy links to come through. I just want to make sure that everything in my mailbox is what it's supposed to be. And if it's not, Microsoft will let me know if it's a problem. So I'm going to click on the safe attachments. I'm going to click on the plus here. It's going to open up a new screen. Now I'm going to show you what it's actually doing at this stage. At the moment, nothing's configured. So I want to make sure that when I'm testing all this stuff out, I'm actually going to say block attachments. So the goal here is to make sure that with anything that comes through, I want to make sure that it's going to stop that coming through if it's a problem. So block dodgy attachments, if I can spell. Okay, so I'm going to click on the block which is the whole idea. So anything that comes through, it'll block current and future emails and attachments with detected malware. That's good, that's what we wanna do. Now I can redirect that to another email address if I want to. I actually don't really wanna do that because I don't want it being opened. Now it can apply to any particular domain or recipient or a member of any particular group. Uh, so I'm gonna put it on the domain now, because there's a temporary domain set up here, I'm just going to click on that, and I'm going to click on OK. And I don't want an exception because that's going to allow things through. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to click Save. That's OK. It's just telling me that there's a... Enable redirect should be selected, but I don't want it selected, so that's fine. And that's now added the block attachments. I'm going to do the same thing for the safe links. Now there's already one that's default. Uh, so I'm going to click on edit. But here we go. Okay, so at the moment, this is a safe links policy. Now I want to make sure that anything is added on here. Do not track users when clicking on safe links. Do not let users click through to safe links 
to original URL. Now that's the basic protection that you want turned on. So physically what this does is that if somebody clicks on one of the links and it turns out to be dodgy, Microsoft will actually change the link to a safe link. So depending on where you're based, it'll be like apac.safelinks or whatever. And it will then look at the link and it'll scan it while you're going to it. And if it comes up with a problem, it'll come up with this massive red screen saying, do not click further. This website has a problem with it. So at least that way, you're actually not getting the malware on your machine, which is great. At least that way, you can be protected online without really having to think about it. Now, the good thing with this is that not only does it stop the malware and the ransomware from coming through, it stops all of the spam, which is a fantastic product. Uh, I highly recommend that if you have Office 365, or if you're thinking about going to it, you actually get the advanced threat protection turned on to stop it from the beginning, which means you're gonna get a whole lot less spam. I think without it, you're probably gonna get at least 40 to 100 plus emails a day of spam. This is why I turned it on on mine, so I get hardly any spam at all, which is great. All right, so because this already has been enabled, I'm just gonna click save. And that's it, that's all set up. Now I can change policies here, I'm not going to, but the whole idea was to show you how to configure advanced threat protection and that's what we've accomplished. Thanks for watching.